She will rise with the spine of steel and a roar like thunder. She will rise. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Sonya Lauren, and I am ba -da -ba -ba -ba, back with another video. In this video, I am so excited, you guys, because your girl recently just got into fragrances, and literally, it was about a month ago, I just went perfume crazy and trying to understand what I like, what I don't like. So I'm gonna talk about that in this video, and I'm also gonna show you guys a mini collection that i have so far that's super affordable and as always remember to cherish your body and love your skin because baby girl that is where it all begins okay if you guys are interested in seeing my affordable mini perfume collection be sure to give me a big old thumbs up click that subscribe button and yeah you need to get some popcorn you don't want to miss out on this video let's get right into it I heard about this brand and y'all I just had to try it because they got me right they got me they said look we make perfumes that are very much similar to luxury brands at a fraction of the price so already I'm like I'm intrigued <laughs> okay because we know that luxury perfumes could range from who knows 50 to like a hundred dollars depending on what size you get and even more than that like a hundred plus okay so dossier before i even get into what was sent to me let's talk about dossier what is this brand because i know that a lot of you guys probably have never heard of it like me if you don't know dossier is a fragrance brand that reproduces classic high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price any scent is $29, whereas designer scents range from $50 to about $280 plus dollars retail. And girl, who trying to spend that much? Okay. <laughs> Dossier keeps the exact same quality by cutting all the expenses and brand tags that you would pay if you were purchasing a luxury brand perfume at a retail price, right? Dossier receives excellent feedback on the similarity of their scents compared to the designer scent. They have a risk-free system that allows customers to try the perfumes before committing to them. Every bottle comes with a small sample that clients can try and wear before unsealing that 50 milliliter bottle, which I will show you guys. But listen, when I heard that, I was like, okay, now y'all really got me. Because you're telling me I could try a sample before I open up the big one? Okay, period. If you want to return a scent, Dossier offers a standard 30-day return period in which customers can return any unsealed 50 milliliter Dossier perfume for a full refund. Free returns and exchanges forever. I mean, <laughs> what more can you want, y'all? Free returns and exchanges forever. Um, and of course, Dossier adds new scents to their collection all of the time. Let's get into it. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the perfumes that I received from them, the fragrances that I received from them. And yes, so when you open up the box, iconic scents, designer quality, and no markups. Okay? They like, honey, we got that affordable price for y'all. Okay? So this is a card that they gave me. Um, this card talks about the fragrance that I received, which I like so much because I'm just now getting into fragrances, so I need to know, okay, what's tea? Like, what's up, right? So this card breaks it down. I'll read that for you guys in a second. And then this is the perfume. This one is called Fruity Jasmine, okay? This is what the bottle looks like. This is their 50 milliliter bottle, I believe. And it's a pretty good size. I don't know how it's coming up on camera. Let's get into Fruity Jasmine. So Fruity Jasmine has top notes of mandarin, green leaves, sweet pea. It has middle notes of jasmine. I'm gonna say Lang Lang, cause I don't know how to pronounce this, but I'll post a picture of what I'm reading on the screen. And Champaka and Peach. The base notes are sandalwood, plum, and musk. It's inspired by Dior, Dior, Dior. <laughs> it's inspired by Dior, Adore. Add that perfume. The concentration is 15%. It also tells you our mission is to deliver the highest quality luxury inspired fragrances at a fair price, giving you the freedom to explore new scents. Thank you for giving us a try. So very cute. Let's talk about this Fruity Dress, man. I ended up getting this one because I seen the reviews and I went off of the reviews because like I said, I'm just now getting into fragrances. 
what I have to say is I wore this for a day and I'm not gonna lie to you guys it did wear off throughout the day it did not give me that full 24 hour wear I want at least a good 12 hour wear like 8 to 12 it smells really good but the only thing is like I would probably end up wearing this to bed every night it's a really soft smell in my opinion I don't know how it smells to other people but it's like really light to me I wanted something that I could smell more I had to keep spraying it because I just could not smell it yeah we're gonna go to the next perfume that I received again the same setup for the box have this nice little card telling me about it but this one is called floral Lang Lang. I'm gonna say Lang Lang because I don't think it's Yang Yang, but if it is, I'm sorry. So this one has top notes of lily, grapefruit, and blackberry. It has middle notes of Lang Lang, tuberose, and jasmine, base notes of musk, orange, blossom, and orris. So I got this because it has a lot of the um, things that I like, like jasmine and also orange blossom. So I was like, okay, let me give it a try. It also had really good reviews. So this perfume is inspired by Chanel. Gabriel or Gabrielle, I don't know why I keep saying Gabrielle. Gabrielle and the perfume, so it's inspired by Chanel, and y'all smell so freaking good. It seems to last for a good amount of time, but I still didn't get enough wear out of it, so don't really quote me on that. I just know I tried it on, and I think I wore it for one day at work, and it just smelled so, so good, okay? So I got some Chanel perfume at a fraction of the price, um, and I'm super excited about this one. So that's a little bit about that Sierra. I really hope you guys check them out. I fell in love with them. I can't wait to get more perfumes from them. If you guys do want to give that Sierra a chance, be sure to use my code. Don't worry, I'm not getting like some commission or anything from it. My code is Sonya L10 and you can get a percentage off. It will be on the screen. I'm trying to drop some gems for you guys when it comes to buying fragrances. Please try not to pay retail price when it comes to brands or even luxury brands um, and just brands in general because if you go to stores like TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, you can get the perfume that you want at a fraction of the price, okay? So make sure you guys are not spending full amount of money. Macy's is a good place to check out. They usually have like a lot of sales. Just make sure you're getting the most affordable price, if that makes sense. So this is my Ari uh, perfume. <laughs> it's one ounce and their one ounce bottle is $45. The fragrance family is floral. The scent type is Gourmand. I think I might be saying it wrong. And the key notes are this. So the top notes are crispy pear, pink grapefruit, right? The heart of it is juicy raspberry, soft muguet, and rosebuds and then the base is vanilla orchid marshmallow creamy musk blonde wood this perfume smells really good i think ariana grande does a really good job of making scents that just smell good um personally i wouldn't wear this on like a date i would wear this i would wear this on a romantic date right this is like a you're just going i don't know i'm trying to think what i could say I feel like, because I'm going to talk about this perfume next, so I might as well just show you guys. This is Ariana Grande, Thank You, Next. And I kind of have the same idea on both of them when it comes to how to wear it. Like, this is just something I feel like if you're just going to the grocery store and you want to smell good, you just throw on. Or, um, and I'm not trying to minimize her perfume to the grocery store. I'm just saying, like, it's not that serious like i want to wear this on some big romantic date it's kind of just like a, i feel like it could be like everyday scents when you want to just smell good you can even spray this before you go to bed and it won't be too overbearing so yeah love her scents they're both really sweet and smell really good let me talk to you guys a little bit about this ariana grande thank you next so the one ounce of this is 45 dollars. the fragrance family is floral the scent type is also gore man so the key notes of this is white pear wild raspberry the heart of it is cremated the coconut pink rose petals and the base is macaroon sugar and velvet musk okay so love this scent as well i love both of my ariana grande scents like i said they're not super overbearing they kind of give me like a sweet scent which i love and it just smell good i don't really have nothing negative to say they might 
not last as long as you want them to. So let's move on to my Coach perfume, y'all. I don't feel like getting up, so I'm not. But I also have the lotion to this perfume, and it smells so good. Like, first of all, I remember my mom gave me this. Um, I kind of like took it from her. She knows, but like, I was like, Mom, do you want that? <laughs> and she ended up giving it to me. I'm so grateful. Um, I use it a lot, but you guys cannot tell. It's still a lot in there. It was a really good size, to be honest. And let's just talk about it, okay? Let's just get into it. So this is the Coach Floral Air Day Perfume. Um, I'm be honest with y'all, it doesn't last that long. <laughs> it does not last that long. Some tips that somebody gave me was, um, shout out to Marcia if you're watching this video. She told me, put the lotion on plus spray the perfume and the scent will last longer, which is great. Um, I haven't tried that yet, but I want to tell you guys just in case you wanted to try it. The one ounce of this is $62. So the fragrance family is floral. The scent type is a sweet floral, which I love. And the keynotes are pineapple sorbet. The middle is tea rose and the base is creamy woods. Okay, so it smells so good. Like y'all, I feel like this is a good fragrance to give like your teenage daughter. I'm not gonna lie. Not that like Tina is like a teenage scent, but it's not really super, like it's feminine for sure, but it's not super, hmm, how can I put it? Like it's a, it's a safe scent, right? It's a good scent that you could like give to your teenage daughter, give to, um, you know, a younger person, I feel like would really enjoy this scent. You can wear it anywhere, honestly. Um, probably wouldn't, again, probably wouldn't wear it to like this romantic, nice date, but definitely an everyday scent. I just wish it last longer. If you guys have any tips on how scents can last longer or anything like that, please let me know, <laughs> okay, in the comments down below. I'm going to get right into this Michael Kors perfume. Now y'all, I know I keep saying that like every perfume is not like a romantic date perfume, but baby, this is, okay. This is Michael Kors Glam Jasmine. Um, it'll be on the screen so you guys can see. It smells really good. This is something that I would wear on a romantic date. Um, it's just like feminine, but it's more of a mature feminine in my opinion. Um, yeah, it's giving me more mature. It's weird when I think of fragrances, I kind of put an age on fragrances. I don't know why, but that's just how it makes sense in my head. So this is more so like a middle, I wouldn't say middle age, but like I would say, a grown like a grown woman you know what i'm saying like this more grown than the other fragrances that i just showed you but it smells so good the description i'm about to read is from macy's so this fragrance is focused on a bouquet of its namesake flower egyptian jasmine jasmine sandbag and jasmine petals warm woody cedar wood and sparkling citrus play supporting rose in this floral scent a bouquet of lush jasmine with essence of Creamy woods, overtly feminine, and head turning up, baby. They said, head turning. They said, spray this, boy. You gonna make they head turn. Love it. Love this scent. Moving on. Next, I'm gonna get into my Chloe. Oh my god. So I only have sample size, but best believe, next video y'all see, I'm going to have at least one ounce of each of these. But let's get into it. So. I want to start with my Chloe love story. Um, this scent smells really good. I got a sample of it, as you guys can see, and I'll put the bigger bottle on the screen, but I just fell in love with it. The top notes are oil of orange blossom and neroli. The middle notes are Stephanotis, jasmine, and Fisalis. And the base notes is cedarwood. This scent is light, but it's very feminine. It's not as light as you think it is, though. The smell smells so good. Like, I really don't have nothing else to say about this fragrance. I just like it so, so much. And I also like this other Chloe that I have. This Chloe is called Chloe et de Perfume. It smells so good. It lasts all day. Like, I'm not even gonna cap with you guys. This perfume literally lasts all day. I think Chloe does a really good job of just making fragrances. The fragrance of this Chloe is floral. The scent type is a powdery floral. I didn't even know I liked powdery floral until I got this scent. And then the top notes is pink peony. Freesia and Litchi. The middle is Magnolia Flower, Lily of the Valley, Rose, and the base is Cedarwood, Amber, and Honey. Y'all, all I gotta say is get it. it. Smells so good. 
Smells very feminine. Definitely something you can wear on a date. Definitely something you can even wear to work. Love it, get it, that's it. This is the Elizabeth Arden Red Door. Red Door instantly gets you noticed within a pulling essence of lily of the valley opening into a vibrant trail of freesia and wild violets. The middle notes a stunning bouquet of red roses, macaroon, orange flower, jasmine, and lang lang creates an expression of sophistication and style. The base notes magically evocative notes immediately awaken one's deepest senses with a unique lingering essence of honey, oak moss, and sandalwood. So shout out to their website because that's where I just got that description from and honey it makes you want to buy it. But anyway can't really give you the full scope on this fragrance it is a little bit more mature i want to get this for a teenager honestly or somebody younger it is definitely a more mature fragrance it's something that i would probably wear if i'm going to like a business meeting or if i want to just feel like feminine yet mature i feel like i would put this on so yeah it smells good but it's really like mature y'all okay it's giving a business meeting so let's get into this Dose Gabbana. This is the most expensive perfume that I have so far in my collection and it might be making an exit because honestly y'all, I have not been feeling this Dose Gabbana. Honestly y'all, this fragrance, honey. I sprayed it the first time. I was like, okay, I see what the hype is about. It's kind of like this unisex fragrance. At least that's what I heard. I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you guys the name. This is Dose Gabbana Light Blue. I just don't care for the scent. When I was at work, I decided to wear this and when I tell you, it lasts all day. Like if you're looking for a fragrance that lasts all day, one stop shop, here you go baby. But the thing about it that got me was like, I kept smelling it, cause you know I had my mask on and I kept smelling it. And every time I was just getting more and more annoyed. I don't really think it really matches my body chemistry. I'm gonna wear it one more time, but if I don't like it, I'm definitely going to bless somebody else with it because I don't know y'all. This is a colorful, fresh, floral, fruity Dosti Gabbana. Um, the fragrance family is floral. The scent type is floral, fruity. And the key notes are cedar, green apple, blue, bell, bamboo, jasmine, rose, uh, citron, wood, amber, and musk this is just not giving for me i don't know what it is but the good thing is it does last all day it smells good it's just not for me <laughs> does that make sense like it smells really good shout out to dose gabbana but it's just not for me like i don't really think it matches me and that's another thing something that smells good to me might not smell good to y'all something that smells good to y'all might not work for me we all have like a different body chemistry and i think perfume is based off of that so just keep that in mind when you're buying your perfumes baby girl because yeah this perfume i literally wrote the script for this video I don't even know but this was added at the very very last minute i wasn't even gonna talk about it but i just tried it on and i instantly fell in love and black friday I need to hurry up because i'm gonna get the big bottle but anyway this is the mon grelane et de perfume the 1.7 ounce goes for 105 dollars the top notes are bergamot mandarin and pear the middle notes are neroli sandbag jasmine lavender the base notes are iris vanilla and sandalwood I think this scent is also based off of Angelina Jolie, I believe. It smells so good, baby. It gives me more of like a mature scent, but not like too mature. Very, very feminine. Smells so good. It lasts for a very long time as well. Y'all need to check out this perfume. I'm not just trying to hype it up. It's one of my favorite perfumes right now. I wore it to work and I just was smelling myself all day. Like, oh, girl, you smell so good. But I wanted to show you guys my mini perfume collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it please stay tuned your girl has gotten into fragrances so if y'all want to see more fragrances more about fragrances tune into my channel make sure you guys check out Dossier air okay you're getting this nice size bottle at a fraction of the price baby what more could you ask for honey what more do you want okay so make sure you guys check out Dossier air don't spend too much money on perfume, okay? This is literally an affordable video. I hope that I was able to give you guys some tips on how to get affordable perfume. And if you want more tips and tricks on fragrances, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below which fragrance was your favorite or which fragrance do you have? And also, y'all know I like floral, so give me some more like... 
ideas and what's the word recommendation on other fragrances and i love you guys so much if you guys to the end of this video like shout out to you you're a real one thank you for staying tuned i love you guys bye bye uh, cause i'm the mvp most valuable i'm the mvp most valuable yeah, i'm the mvp most valuable player huh that's who i be